Hello friends, I'm excited to come to you again today. My name is Yemi Adelaye and it's been an awesome time in this series which we are um, looking at um, the scripture that has been our anchor scripture is uh, from the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 which says fixing your eyes on Jesus the author and the finisher of your faith. He is the beginning, the author and the perfecter. Other versions say the perfecter of your faith. Your faith is in Christ, essentially. It's in Him. The Bible says in Him we live, we move, and we have our being. So if it's in Him, it shouldn't be in any other thing. It should not be in any other person. It shouldn't be... You shouldn't, it, it, it practically means that your, your validation and your affirmation, the source of all of this is from him. If your faith, if he's the author and the finisher of your faith, he is the master of the show. So how can your faith and your confidence be in the opinion of anyone other than the author. Take, take for instance, somebody is the author of a book, okay? You're studying and maybe you're doing your master's, PhD, whatever, and the author himself is also the professor teaching you in class every day, and then he writes you uh, an examination or a test and wants you to write it and gives you already the answer. <laughs> That's why I like God. He says, I, I, put be, I said before you life and death, but he tells you to choose life. It's like multiple question, answer, and he already gives you the answer. Glory to God. So he's the kind of examiner that shows, it writes, it puts a, an exam paper in front of you and already tells you the answer. So if he's the author and the finisher of your faith, he is the final authority. So he's a professor and imagine anyone, someone comes around and tells you you were wrong. When the professor already said you are right, that is the answer. Are you going to agree with the person and disagree with the professor or are you going to agree with the professor and disagree with the person obviously you are going to agree with the professor because he is the author of the book my 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 the book that runs your life that order you run your life my god is the word of god the bible and the author says you are accepted in the beloved he didn't put any conditions. He says he loves you unconditionally. My God. How, what has the opinion of other people got to do with it? My God. What has it got to do with it? Thank you, Jesus. This woman did not even know that it was the will of God, of Jesus to heal her. But she knew that there's power in that place. And if I can get out there and touch it, I will be made whole. And my Jesus, the last thing she could think about at all is what people think. That is not even a contemplation for her in any way. We're not, the scripture doesn't tell us and that she also thought if people will get out of the way for me, let me tell you, people are not going to get out of the way for you to do what you know you're called to do, to do what you're inspired to do. You are the one who is going to press through the crowd. And you know what? This crowd were already many people, the disciples answered Jesus. They said, Master, many people throng you and you say, who touched my garment? That means that there is a touch and there is a touch. There is a different kind of touch which is a touch of faith. 
that must it always you see the, the the relationship between the socket on the wall and the cable the 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 plug that you you hold and plug it into the wall is almost similar to the touch of faith if you put a broomstick made of dried leaves or, or stalks of, of plants and all of that in that wall socket there's no power because it is not a conductor of power it's not even a semiconductor that is the same thing it means when the crowd was touching him it was not a touch of faith so virtue did not flow out of jesus oh glory to god but when this woman <laughs> she had a light she had a a a, a, a metal a copper made material which is her faith her faith is a conductor of power faith is a is a is a power conductor thank you lord when it touches the source the power flows the reason the power is not flowing is because it is not a touch of faith you need more revelation in the word when faith rises up in you i didn't mean to speak about faith today but maybe this is going to be a blessing to somebody when faith rises up in you and my god it makes contact with the power of god with the word of god power flows there is no asking there is no this woman did not even have to seek opinions she don't, she didn't even ask jesus she she had faith she came behind him that's another thing to think about she was not in the full glare of jesus to the point that jesus could have seen him she came behind him oh thank you jesus many of us have come behind him i don't know about you but his work of redemption is already finished and is ascended unto heaven and we have come behind to touch the hem of his garment thank you lord and that is what connects us to his power you don't need any other person the disciples were there they are the deacons and the priests and the elders of the church of the time but she did not seek their permission she went straight for what she knew was hers and bam, she got it the power of god is an electric socket in the word of god waiting for you to plug in oh somebody needs to hear that again the power of god is loaded but it is transmitted through faith faith is the power cable by which you receive from god no matter how much voltage is in that wall if you don't bring a power cable it's not going to flow power is not going to flow but when you bring a power cable with you uh, and you put it right in there power flows the word of god recognizes faith when he sees it god recognizes faith when he sees it jesus recognizes this woman's faith when he saw it he didn't even have to look behind the power did flow glory to god the power of god is flowing already god is transmitting it is left for you to tune into god's frequency that you might receive from him god is transmitting all the time he has given us his word it is where his power is and it is up to us to plug in and connect with it thank you jesus back to the woman with this woman she had to go through the crowd to do this that is what the problem was now this is it take this analogy i'm in a room now this is an office the power the plug is not under my feet it's somewhere around but imagine that i need to plug in the cable the power the charger for my ipad which is right in front of me and there is a crowd of chairs and tables and everything that is standing between me and the plug 
Oh my, my, my. If you're not desperate, if you don't need it, maybe you're going to be postponing it. But this woman has been through a lot. She's gone through, she spent all that she had and was nothing better. How long are you going to keep waiting on the opinions of people? How long are you going to stay in the crowd seeking opinions, taking notes? What do you think of me? What do you think of me? What did you think of how I sang today? What do you think of my writing? What do you think of my novel? This book I'm writing, what do you think of it? Go out there and do what God has called you to do. If you make a mistake, next time you fix it. It will get better as you go, but you cannot sit back. God has given you to go ahead. You are the one God is waiting on. Even though you think you are waiting on God, God is waiting on you to do what he has called you to do. Sing your song. Preach your message, preacher. Uh, yes, you might not have the best of vocabulary. God is not looking for vocabulary. He's looking for the right heart. Go forward. Do what God has called you to do. She pressed through the crowd. Uh, she didn't let anyone talk her out of what she made up her mind, of how she's going to get a miracle. And she went straight for it and she got it.